everyone, this is the Free American Press, and today I'm entitling this video for the media. And the reason why I'm entitling this video is because of this article I just saw on Anti Empire, really uh, good site that I like. So Zelensky finds time to chat with Scene 10 for documentary amid Russian invasion. The battle must be going well then. So uh, this is uh, pretty interesting. Uh, basically, he's speaking. Uh, to this, uh, I guess, journalist uh, for a documentary uh, while his country is being invaded. And uh, that doesn't really seem uh, like the best time for, the, for him right now. And it makes me seem almost more like this is uh, for the media, this whole uh, Russian invasion with the Ukraine and as one of the major components of the reasons for this war, uh, going back to it and uh, basically to distract people. Because uh, what should a president be doing in a situation like that? Should he be leading his people and trying to find ways to actually um, keep his country you know, from being in, you know, conquered? Or should he be making uh, videos right now with uh, people? Like I can understand like uh, you know, videos of himself, like making small statements to get the troops, but for just like a journalist and all this stuff, it just doesn't make any sense, especially when the Russians are actually invading. Um, it's a very odd thing uh, right now. Um, and Zelensky reportedly never ordered a full mobilization of the Ukrainian military because he thought Putin was bluffing, even though everybody was, you know, even though everybody knew that this was planned, you know, that this was going to go on, he'd even mobilize his military, uh, and if the if there was going to be an invasion, even if there was a good chance, he didn't mobilize his military. Um, it seems very odd, and now the media is covering this, and uh, you know it's a good way to put in different you know martial law and stuff to take away people's freedoms. It's a planned event. We saw that it was planned, and uh, war is a really scary thing, and it seems like the drums are starting to beat for World War Three especially with Russia saying they're going to use nuclear bombs and chemical weapons potentially. And like they said, they're going to invade Ukraine. They did. So there's a good chance they're going to use those weapons. And then they'll start World War III and they'll put everybody in martial law. Everybody will be confused and they're going to be taking away our freedoms and our basically liberties and our rights. And when we thought, oh, uh, basically it's time for war and everything, uh, we need to fight the enemy. Our real enemy is our corrupt government stealing all our freedoms under under our noses while we're worried about something uh, on the other side of the planet uh, where their president is just doing interviews and stuff when his country is being invaded. And uh, it already seems like Ukraine can probably protect itself. It's been showing that they've been able to uh, kind of beat off the Russian offensive. But if Russia uses chemical weapons and nuclear bombs, that's going to just start World War III. And Putin would be very stupid to do that because then the risks would offset the rewards because then he's going to have a full scale, possibly nuclear war. So it just doesn't make any sense unless it was a planned event between these elites already. So, uh, yeah, so I just really thank you for watching this video. If you'd like to support what I'm doing uh, with my channel, uh, I made a new PayPal fundraiser, support Alexander Horat. And it's basically it's so I can continue to make my uh, YouTube videos and basically uh, get the word out on how our freedoms are being taken away and how we can stop that. And if you'd like to uh, uh, support me with that, you can just uh, click on the link in the description below. And I really thank anybody uh, for watching this video. And uh, if you can follow me on my other social media sites, such as Gab, Parlar, BitChute, and YouTube and Twitter, and uh, even fake book, that would be really appreciated. Thank you all for watching this video. God bless and have a good day.